So milk is flowing into a vat and it's also being pumped out of a vat. At what rate in liters per minute is the amount of milk in the vat decreasing? So um, basically we need to, if it's decreasing, the net decrease will be the rate out minus the rate in equals, you know, that rate that it's decreasing. So we need both the out and the in to solve this one. Statement one tells us the amount of milk was 100 liters when we started. You know, actually this is useless information. If in some other type of problems we might need to know, you know, how much is left after 10 minutes or something like that. Um, and that's a common problem solving technique. But um, with the data sufficiency, knowing the starting point on this one is irrelevant because it tells us nothing about the two rates, the in or the out rate. So statement one is not sufficient, nor are the two statements together alone sufficient. Statement two, milk flows into the vat at five gallons every um, five minutes. So it's one per minute for the in. And it says out of the vat at five gallons per minute, five per minute. So we didn't actually have to calculate it, but five minus one, it's going out at the rate of four per minute. So statement two is sufficient. It gives us both the in and the out rate. So statement two is our winner, answer choice B.